has his favorite character is Johnny Cage, which is um, <laughs> he must have he must have a special version of Street Fighter Two. Right. Uh, that's Street Fighter Two, the movie, because he's an actor. You know, he's yeah, right. he's. And actually, he, you know, Johnny Cage is based on Jean Claude Van Damme, and Jean Claude Van Damme is in Street Fighter II: The Movie. So there you go. It must be Street Fighter II: The Movie he's talking about. Um, okay, well, let's start this off. Uh, my name is Brent Weinbach, and this is Street Fighter II: Turbo. Oh, look at that! Look at that screen. Gotta love that screen. Now, I don't have the audio piped in like I normally do because it just seemed like it was going to be easier. But now the reason the room is dark usually is you're I have, pretty, huh? Usually you're pretty good about laying the pipe. At, pretty good at what? Laying the pipe. Yeah, I, I lay pipe when it comes to audio, but I just couldn't. It was easier to set up if I didn't do that. And especially with having a guest commentator such as yourself, it was going to be harder to uh, do that, to lay the pipe, you know, as far as the audio goes. Right. So, um, I don't know. You can kind of hear the music a little bit, right? Yes, yeah. I can definitely hear that. Okay. Um, it's kind of just complicated, you know, the, the, how that is. Um, but anyway, um, no, the reason the room is dark is because, um, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a goth boy. That's why I, you know, I, I revel, I revel in the night, you know, I, I'm, I'm a, uh, you know what I mean? I got, I, I need, I need bad lighting to write my poetry. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, no, it's just, it's, uh, it's because of the way to get the settings right for the TV, because, you know, this is just being shot on a camera. Um, I have to, uh, I have to make the, I just have to do contrast settings that will make it look like the room's darker than it actually is. Anyway, um, well, look, man. Hey, by the way, how does it look on, on the stream right now? Does it look like it's kind of, uh. I don't know. Does it look smooth? It's looking smooth on my end, but chat, let's see what's up. Well, no, on, I know on your end on Zoom, it's going to look smooth, but does how does it look on the stream, I wonder? Uh, everyone's saying All right. looks, looks, looks tight. tight. Decent. How's the audio levels right now? Does Rob sound loud enough? Do I sound loud enough? Can Rob, can you be a little bit louder? Is that possible? <clears throat> How's that? Does that sound good? We just cleared your throat and that's it. <laughs> well, let me turn this up. Just a smidge. There it is. That should do it. Yeah, game audio is going to be a little low on this one just because I'm not laying pipe tonight. You know. Uh, all right, let's go take a look at these fighters here. So, look. Rob is a Street Fighter II champion, so he's going to be the special guest for tonight. And I thought that in celebration of the United States of America finding its independence on July 4th, 1776, I thought that in celebration of that, I would play Street Fighter II, you know, because Street Fighter II is the ultimate game that represents the USA. You know what I mean? Look. You know what I'm saying? What do you think about that? I like that we had Master Sergeant Guile as soon as you said that. Uh, right. He is the embodiment of that. And but, but in general, I think that the street fight comparison is very valid when you talk about the independence of a nation. Uh-huh. Isn't is it okay? So, all right, let's. Oh, look, and another thing. But you, okay, let's go look at these characters. Okay, let's start this off. What do you say? I think I mean, I'll. You know, don't, don't 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 say anything. But I'm curious, what does the chat think? Brent's Brent will play as. Who will he pick? Right. Who do you think? I, well, we're gonna go through each one. 
I'm gonna we're gonna we'll talk about each one of these characters. Um, you know, now Peter says that Ken's American is apple pie. I have an argument against that, and I'll explain it when we when we look at the characters. I can't remember. Is it going to automatically pick a character for me, or does it on the character select? Can I? Does it stay on there for as long as I want? No, or, you have to keep it moving. Keep the cursor moving. Oh, keep the cursor moving. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. If not, I'll just reset it. Big whoop. Um. Okay, so people are kind of guessing Chun Li over here. Someone says Honda. Somebody's one person said can can. Uh, well, I'll say this. Let me get the options going here first. Let me set up the. Now look, difficulty. I'm just gonna leave it on the de default. All right. I'm gonna probably try to play through with two different characters tonight. I, you know, we'll see how long it takes to do the first one. Now, I haven't played Street Fighter in a long time, so I'm probably not gonna be that good. All right. Okay. Okay. Now look, you're kind of right. I do. My top characters are Honda, Chun Li, and I would oftentimes play with Ken. But I don't. I like the way Ryu looks more than I like the way Ken looks, and I'll explain more on that in a little bit when we start looking at the different characters. But let me get these things. So let's put B for the low punch, medium punch. We'll do like that. And then a little bit like that, and then we'll make it go like that, and a little bit like that, and just like that. Okay? How do you uh, like that? Must be nice to have all those buttons. As a Sega Genesis player, if I only had the three. So I, this is this is might as well be another language to me what I'm looking at right here, because uh, when I was growing up on the Sega Genesis, I just had the three and the star button. You had to. Adapt, adapt or die. Or go, hey, you know what? Go home and be a family man. That it's like they say about when somebody has some sort of handicap, such as uh, blindness or uh, or if they're deaf, it increases their ability in other ways. So the restrictions that you played with made you a better player in the end. They made you sharpened up your other skills. What did you say? Well, I think we saw the result of that as I'm now a bona fide Street Fighter master. Sega Master, Street Fighter Master. Uh huh. Now, let me ask you something, Rob. Are you, you're looking at, uh... no, I'm going to play with the regular Super Nintendo controller, by the way, to answer George's question. I do have the SM Fighter Stick, which I got a long time ago, but it's not very good, so I'm not going to use that. Rob, you're looking at the zoom screen, right? Because that's going to... Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Good. Yeah, yeah. All right. Look, by the way, look at what this spells. It almost spells Blair, Blair X. Blair X? It's, I mean, it's, it's almost like player. Almost like player, but it's like, what's up, Blair? Oh, what's up, Blair X? Blair's, Blair's Blair. Blair's going to play. It's kind of like multiple Blair, Blair's, you know, Blair X. What's up, Blairks? A couple of Blairks right here are going to go one on one on that. All right. So here we go. Street Fighter Two Turbo. Look at that. All right. Amazing. Hyper fighting. Now look, you can even turn up the turbo an extra notch that goes higher than the arcade. But we'll leave it at the arcade level here. Okay. Um. Now, let's see what goes here. Now, let me ask you something. This little icon here, selecting stuff, what is that? Is that a, some sort of... What is that? Yeah, that's, is that a... that's the Capcom oh. the Capcom uh, spaceship from one of their games. Well, okay, okay. This, What is that? Is that a Gradius ship? Yeah, that's one of their spaceships as well. What is this? Twin B? Or is this some sort of... It looks like the Fly. It looks like the 1950s Fly movie. You know, not... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doesn't it look like a the, a fly, a man's face turned into a fly's face, or something like that? It looks like that, don't it? Well, it looks like, or yeah, it also looks like a tooth, like a red tooth. It also kind of looks like balls and a penis, but upside down in a way on the top part, you know. And then, uh, yeah, someone said spaceships. 
And then this right here, isn't that, uh, is that from Ghost and Goblins or something? That icon right there? Oh, no, that one. I think it's That's from Ghost and Goblins or something, isn't it? What are these? I just, I never even paid attention to this ever until tonight. I realized there's a spaceship on that one, and then there's, and then there's a, I don't know, fly face or, or twin bee or something, and then it's got this icon, which I've rec I recognize that icon from other Capcom games, such as Ghost and Goblins, I feel like. Oh, you think it was from Mega Man 1? Mega Man 1. Oh, Mega Man 1. Okay, so Mega Man 1. Oh, gosh, he keeps on going to Zangief. Zangief just loves the spotlight, doesn't he? He's um, wanting to get his 15 minutes. Um, okay, what is... Tell me what that is. What is that thing right there? What is that? It looks like two fly eyes right there, you know? It's got to be a spaceship. It's a mosquito. It's got to be a twin bee of sorts. What is that thing? Look at this guy, man. Zangief has got the biggest penis of all time, I feel. No, what, hold on. What was that? The measurements. Wait till the measurements go back. Okay. C, okay. W, and H. So H is his height. W is his waist and then b is his his, uh, his breast size <laughs> breast size, size. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think his breast size is it's got to be look uh, like, okay 64 so, oh bust yeah it is bust isn't it waist oh, 50 oh. height 59 wow 59 dudes 59 dudes i don't know what that icon is i gotta be honest So let's see what happens here. Let's just start this off here. All right, now look. Hopefully, I don't. It doesn't select it for me. If it does, I'll I'll reset. But now, Ryu, uh, I'm thinking, since this is a celebration of this great country of ours, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to play with Ryu. With Ryu? You know I mean? Yeah. Huh? Why not? Yeah, Kyle? Just, oh, well, it did it automatically just now. Hold on a second. I don't want to do that. Why not Kyle? Here's, here's what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now. Um, let's see. What? No. Here. The reason I. The thing about Ryu though is he represents Japan, and I think that would be a good way to play through the game in celebration of the independence of the United States of America. It's kind mm -hmm. of an international celebration of, or so, of sorts. That's a, that way. It's not so insular. You know. It's not just so. It's not just only, you know, that, that way you got the whole expansion of, of the whole world, you know? Look at this guy, Dalsim. All right, let's start it off. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I, look, I'm going to go with this guy, but I just want to say, if I keep it moving, will it select or what? And eventually it'll automatically select it, so I think you should just pick it and go. All right, well, I just have something to say about Ken. I'm using the original colors here. I have something to say about Ken when we, I guess, get to him. But Ihana, ooh, Japan versus Japan. What a celebration of this the nation here. Wow, this is um, some Japan, Japan on Japan violence. Wow, you opened up with the right hand, and then uh, you follow up with kicks. That's two times, and you like the dragon punch. I think you stunned him really early on. He's not even really sure what to do. Look at that. That's a perfect KO right there. And I'm stepping, and I landed on top of him. I mean, almost. If you you if you crouch down, uh, that's that's a that's a move that's done a lot in Fortnite and Call of Duty. Uh huh. Now look at this. He's really upset. He's really huffing and puffing. You can really tell he wants to get after it. I do, and he ruined your your perfect. He did. Ooh, he kind of coming at me a little bit. A little belly splash, belly flop. I'm not even good, by the way. I just got to get... You know what I'm not good at, by the way, is doing Shryukens on the on the left... On, when I'm on the left side. But I did right. it anyway, though. And I finished him off with it, too. Now, look at look at his little undies under there. Look at Ihana's un undies. Can you take a peek? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, a, that's, that's, it's more like a little bone. We've got a little bone action. <laughs> a little bone? It says you need more more training to defeat me. Train, train. And Blanca here with he's 
styling his new electric blue hair dye that he got. You know, I'm just going to pause it for a second. He just wanted to go for a new funky cyberpunk look, so he dyed his hair neon blue, and he is looking very electric. Um, oh, and do you see that in the background? Uh, I like that there's paparazzi. It's in the middle of the jungle, but there's definitely paparazzi right behind Blanca. Yeah, I I feel that guy seems to be a bit of a pervert in a sense. You know, he's just sort of crouched over and he's sort of taking pictures of, <laughs> you know, of Blanca's <laughs> backside. And I feel like that's there's something a little peeping Tomish about that guy in there, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Now, I don't... Okay. Ooh, he drew first blood just now. Now I love playing as Blanca, but yeah. a lot of people tell me that that's just the cheap. It's a cheap way to win. Well, let me say this. I mean, Blanca is in some ways kind of like E Honda, and E Honda is one of my favorite people to play with as well because, well, he's just he's fun because I think similar to e, to Blanca, he can sort of you can get people cornered and just blast them, you know. All right, so I got a real life Blanca outside right now. And you got to watch out because when you get a, a wild beast backed up into a corner, they're going to go all out. And that is what is happening right now. Oh, I was trying to do the Shryuken on the on the left side, which I'm always bad at, and it didn't work out for me. Now Sorry. look. Um Look, Brazil, I mean, he, I forgot to do my classic Brazil when he went there, but that's the classic thing to say whenever you go to, to Brazil. You go, Brazil, Brazil. We're just moving al right along here. You know, I don't have time to talk about the characters. I mean, I wanted to kind of go through each character. Now, look, Guile, he's got that frog face of sorts, doesn't he? It's very stoic. Looks like an Easter Island head. Let's just pause it for a second and just sit, soak this in for a second here. Now... I've met a guy named Kyle before, but have you ever met a guy named Guile? I should be so lucky. Would you name your kid Guile if you had a kid? That's a great name. I've never I seen would, a guy. Yeah. I would consider it. I would consider it. I feel like that guy right in between, right? That blonde guy right in the middle there. He's seems yeah. be, He seems to be tickling himself right between his legs, and he is definitely enjoying it if you look at his face right there. Well, look. Start, start it up. Let's see. Let's get a little bit of that action. Yeah, he's definitely tapping his toe to it. Well, maybe he's actually just ha listening to the music. He likes this track. Right, and... right. And then uh, there's a couple on a first date probably met on Tinder. And the guy said, uh, you want to go to a street fight? And she said, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'd love to. That sounds like uh, That sounds like an awesome night. He said, he, he said, hey, let's let's dress up in military gear and go to this. <laughs> let's go, they have this. They, they let's go to the I know this Air Force base, Edwards Air Force Base in California. We can go there. They have little fights there between different characters. Let's go get dressed up. So they went to the Rite Aid and they got these little outfits. Yeah. And they're having a great time. Now, what does it say on the plane here? It says cap. It says CR-64. OK, right, right. That's, you know what that's short for, right? The CR-64. Uh Commodore 64. They just sort of uh, abbreviate, they abbreviated Commodore to just see the first and last letters and then just Commodore 64. You know what would be kind of neat is if there was somebody inside the cockpit of that jet right there and they were just kind of, you know, had a camera and they were kind of just taking pervert pictures and stuff. I think that, I think you got to do the right button combo and Sheng Long comes out of the cockpit. Uh huh. Uh huh. And he sucks everybody's soul off. <laughs> <laughs> sucks everybody's soul off. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Ghost of K K W U R says Jay Giles Bam. I like that. Jay Giles Bam. Exactly. Um, centerfold. Right? Isn't that the name of the song? Centerfold. Oh. Ooh, he got me on the battle. battle. Uh, it's. It's a, a battle of the fireball and the sonic boom. Uh, you hopped over two of those faster than the speed of sound. Classic, classic uh, roundhouse uh, combo there. Hmm. Oh, it's got this one in the bag. Got this one in the bag. It's, I mean, you know, maybe I needed to up the... No, I think that by the time I get to M. Bison... Oh, shoot, he's kind of making a comeback. He's the comeback kid right here. Ooh, hey. I broke that block on him, too, as a box. 
Look at that guy's lunchbox, though. It's all funky on it. He's got uh, stickers all over his lunchbox. He's the coolest kid in school. Look at him. He's so messed up, all swollen in the face. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at this. Now, Man. what kind of car is this, you know? Look at how, look at how high your legs are going. That's nice. Look how, wow. You sure? It, man, you're like doing the split, giving everybody the show. Yeah, man. It's, well, I, yoga, you know? I mean, I learned, I, I took yoga before doing the fights, this, um, you know, before doing the fight tonight, you know, I did yoga. Stretched it out, caramello. Remember Caramello? Stretch it out, out, Caramello. Okay, let's talk about Caramello. it. Caramello. Just soak his face in for a second there, okay? Just soak Ken it. Ken Masters. Ken Masters. No, no, you know, no, Masters is not even his real name. You know, that's a pseudonym. Let me tell you something Ken. about Kyle, okay? Kyle, first of all, he dyes his hair blonde, okay? Clearly he's, uh, you know, he has dark hair, you know? And I believe, even though he's based in, in the United States of America... I believe that he is Japanese, you know, in actuality. Let's see what he looks like. Look at this. Look at, oh, man, he's kind of going buck right now. Now look at him right there. Um, from that angle, he, his eyes look, he, he looks like a Japanese animation character from this angle. But he is, he dyes his hair blonde. And you can even sometimes see the roots coming out a little bit. And just, I want you to picture Guile, I mean, uh, Ken, with fully black hair. Just just imagine that. Imagine his hair is the color of his eyebrows. It would be a different character. You would look like um, Dragon Ball or something like that. Goku. Or is that the name of the name from uh, Dragon Ball? Goku? I don't watch Dragon Ball. I couldn't tell you that, but you might you might be onto something. I just think that Ken is not as American as Apple Pie, is what I'm trying to say. I don't think he is as He's not, he, I think he's a Japanese man and he just, he dyed his hair blonde, you know, cause he wanted to be in a boy band at one point. He was trying to do a whole J-pop boy band and, you know, it didn't really work out. So he turned to fighting and he, you know, and look at this. I mean, he's, he's Japanese. So what I'm trying to say is he's not really, as, he's not American as you think. So do you not think, uh, there was a user that posted here that this is Ken from Ken and Barbie, and this is him going down this journey after Barbie broke up with him. He became so obsessed with Barbie that he dyed his hair the same color as her. <laughs> he wanted to become her. He said, if I can't have her, I will become her. Well, anyway, he does like American culture quite a bit, and it is true as – Victor Slick Vic says here in the comments that Ken's wife is the sister of Guile's wife. So Guile and Ken are, I guess, some sort of brothers-in-law or something. But, yeah, the, the real question is, what is American? Well, what is American, Rob, as we sort of, you know, well, as we you celebrate know, you know, the, the birthday? What, what's American is that guy in the blue sweater on the boat. Why don't you start it up and see what he's doing? That well, is what you do in America. I'll well, tell you right now. What I think about that guy is, that, to me, well, yeah, that guy is from, uh, he's from the West Side Story. He's he's one of the Jets. He's one of the Jets from the West Side Story. You know what I mean? He's all trying to snap his fingers and stuff. He's all, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's trying to snap something. <laughs> no, look at him. He's from West Side Story right there. He's one of the Jets. He's, you know, he's talking about being cool and stuff, you know? Now, is that a, is that a detective next to the woman, to the left of the woman? Does that look like some kind of detective? Yeah, he's doing a noir thing. And that woman is just very into fight. Look, she really likes the whole fight. She gets into it, you know? Oh, she's yeah. a, she, oh, she's yeah. a super fan. Wow, now this is a battle right here. See, I can't do the strike. You can on the right, the left side as well, you know? Do you think that's going to hurt you in the later bouts? Could be. Wow, see, Ken has found the range. Oh my gosh, he's getting me. Definitely. Oh, he's about to go on a Dragon Punch rampage in a sec. Who, me? No, Ken. Oh, oh. you got it right before he went hey, on the rampage. check out, what's up with this other detective on the right, though? He's kind of like doing some kind of Hail Seek Heil or something like that. No, he's from Roger Rabbit. It was the detective from oh, Roger Bob Rabbit. Oh, Bob Hoskins. Yeah. After Bob Hoskins got rejected from Roger Rabbit, he, <laughs> he uh, decided to join the Third Reich.
I didn't think of him as uh, whacking off the guy in the middle. I felt that he was uh, more just trying to do a West Side Story choreographed dance, you know? Uh... You know, now that I'm in the barber industry, I got to say, I really love Chun Li's stage. I really appreciate that stage because there is a barber shop in the background. Oh, yeah. She's all trying to be like, she's trying to be like Ryu right now with her fireball. Right. Ooh, did not right. jump over such a thing. I, okay, it's getting to oh, a point where I can't really, I have to one. stop talking now, you know? All right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, no, right, you, you talk, no, you talk, Rob. I, I can't, I have to. Okay. Now, what, okay, now what is that guy doing to that chicken? That's a real thing. Just think He's about it. He's choking, that. he's choking his chicken. He is What's choking. What's wrong with the guy chicken. choking his chicken? You know, there must be. The, the, the barber shop in the background and uh, the woman back there, she's. She's milking the wall like you do. Sometimes you got to milk the wall. It's like, oh yeah, this is gonna be some good milk right here. Mm. Uh, oh, what? Is, oh, she's milking the wall. Yeah. Well, that's where they have to milk. They they didn't have any cows, left, so she had to milk the walls. Yeah. Man, what is she okay. doing to that wall? She's molesting that wall hardcore. She's just. I mean, see, I'm focused right. too much on the background. I'm not even looking at the fight right now. You know. Okay. Well, now I. Uh... Your back is kind of up against the wall, and maybe that woman. Well, will I, I think that I'm concentrating on. The... What? Maybe oh, right, right. Will come and milk you. Say that again. Maybe that woman will come and milk you. If, oh uh, yes, please. If you're lucky. Okay. I'm trying to milk the chicken right now. Oh, you got a little too close. You don't get too close to her, Brent. You get hurt. Wow, I can't believe that. Is how she? You do wow, not she's get close. Right she's gonna. She's gonna break your heart. Oh, you should have fireballed that butt. <laughs> okay. That was too Let's close. See. Look at what he's doing to that chicken. Maybe the chicken loves it, though. The chicken seem does seem to enjoy it a little bit. He's kind of tickling the chicken sort of between his legs. and You know, I think chun Li's still a beautiful woman, even when she's beat up like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's, you know, she looks a little, she looked a little messed up, but she still, she still radiates beauty no matter what she did. No matter what condition she's in, when she's happy, when she's sad. Just, now look at this guy's trunks, okay? He's oh, got the is, biggest thing. I, okay, a, oh. that wasn't right. Look how big he is. It's he, like his, his junk is the size of, of your entire torso. Oh my God, he just grabbed me from far distance here. You got to get find the range, find the range. So Ooh, look, look at that. This. Hold on, hold on. What, what? Oh my god, my goodness, look at that. Is this Twitch or is this OnlyFans? I'm I know it, sure. seems, it seems as though he's somewhat half what halfway kind of <laughs> excited at the end there, you know? You know, I'm gonna need that extinguisher in the end. I need to I, I might need to extinguish what's going on over there with that, that uh fire extinguisher right there, because it's getting too hot in here. Um and also does he have tattoos on him, or are those scars, or what? Well, what is a tattoo but a scar? That's true. Hold on, pause it right here. <laughs> Look at that guy on the top elevator. Is he sitting down? <laughs> yeah. Is he collapsed, or what is that guy doing? I think he's doing a sit-up that's taking a really long time to just do one because he's, <laughs> he's kind of out of shape. So he's, he was inspired by the fight to start working out, and he's trying to do that first sit-up, but it's kind of hard. But what's even more peculiar is the guy sit to standing to the right the right of him, he's kind of like hunchback in Notre Dame or something like that. Oh, right, right, right. Hunchback yeah. Notre Dame came out for the fight. And then, and they, then we got they get the, the Bobby, double, we get the the Bobby twins. Yeah, the Doublement twins right here. Two two certs are better than one right here with these two. Now here's the here's the catch. A lot of people don't know this, but those twins on the left, yeah, they're actually not even twins. They're just two friends that wanted to dress up together. They coordinated their outfits and they said, "Hey, let's go, let's go buy the same, let's go to this fight together and dress up in the same outfit." I think everyone's gonna really, it's gonna be a big hit, you know. And look at the guy who's getting drunk right there to the right. Look in between yeah. the twins and the drunk guy. The guy's going, oh, <laughs> you see his face? Oh, no, he's doing the YMCA. That's what he's doing. Oh, right, right. He's singing. He's doing YMCA. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah he did the A. And <laughs> hey, look, the other guy's doing the Y, the one on the vault. Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're doing. They just they got it wrong, the timing off. 
<laughs> right. Well, it's, maybe it's, uh, the trans the translation maybe wasn't good. The translation. Well, it was because the, <laughs> the Cyrillic the Cyrillic alphabet it kind of confused them a little bit with the Roman alphabet. So. Oh, that was a lucky throw. I didn't expect that to happen. But uh, look at those guys up there near the chemicals, man. They're just really taking some risks up there. Uh -huh. Oh, I, they kind of, I feel like they should have been monitoring the, the gauges and making sure there's no meltdown. I think but... St. Geef is still beautiful even when he's beat up like that. <laughs> you see his face there? Oh, look at this. Look at that. This is Break, true. Uh, this is some true Van Damme action here, you know? Hold on, hold on. Pause, pause it real quick. Did you ever try to break a board or break a brick? I did. You did. Did you ever manage? Yes, I did. Yes. No way. A brick or a board? Board. Boards. I've broken multiple boards. In martial arts? Yes. Now, did you watch your sensei or your shidoshi do it? Yes, bricks too. Bricks. That's really interesting to me. That that is a thing that's done. It's like it's a test of uh, test of strength. It's test, test your might. Test, test your might from uh, pit right. fighter. Pit fighter. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, let me let me get a a count here on the chat. How many of you have broke broke boards or broke bricks? Let's have it. All right. I'll let you let you finish here. Okay. Do you have any preferred move in the way that I finish off this um, this this uh, stack of bricks? You know what I think would be really uh, a master move is to low kick it. Okay, with a with the lowest kick. The lowest kick. Then that proves that you don't even need to use the your strongest weapon. Will do. Just use a, a little a little the low kick, but but the high low kick. What if I Hadouken did though too? That's another thought. But okay, uh, and a Hadouken will destroy it. But if you do low kick, that's... okay. And do you want me to? Do you want a, me to? That's a flex. Do you want me to sweep it or just use the low kick on it standing up? Ooh, sweeping it. Yeah, sweep it. Sweep it from under. Okay. Oh, sweep it. And then also, um, did you notice that Ryu only has three toes? <laughs> that's what helps him get the spin when he does well, his helicopter kick. Right, exactly. Oh, oh, oh. Well, he, well, most people don't know he lost the other two breaking bricks with his Right, feet. exactly. That's why. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe he is a, nin a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> I The reason I picked Ryu over Ken is because I think he looks cooler. You know what I mean? He doesn't dye his hair. Well, maybe he does. His, he does he, I think he puts highlights in there, but... He's not completely bleaching it the way that, you know, Ken does, you know? Now, I like this level because it's very colorful and it reminds me of Jaipur. Now, can you imagine going to a yoga class today and then trying to ask them to learn learn how to, how to fight? Do you think they would look at you like you're insane or they would say, oh, this guy knows what's up? Invite him to the secret class. Well, imagine going into a yoga class and asking them how to, if how to blow fire. <laughs> imagine going into a yoga class uh, and saying, "Where's the elephants?" Dal Sim. Oh, <sighs> look, I think Dal Sim can be a dangerous character for sure, and I've seen some really strong Dal Sim players. Well, yes. But this uh, computer was not one of them tonight. <laughs> right. Well, um, no, Dalsimi's got that stretch, man. Caramello, stretch it out, you know. Which one of the like, and, and which one of those elephants was the pervert? That's a question to think about. <laughs> uh oh, championship rounds. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got doppelganger. We got twin versus twin here. Okay. Ooh, that was that was a, a double hit. that was a twin hit. Oh he no. is He's got he knows your every move. There's nothing you're going to do that this guy hasn't seen before. I'm telling you right now. Ooh, he kinda beat me to that kick. Wow. He's Ooh, just... he's kinda 
fireball party over here. Oh, he's too, oh! too early with that. Too early with that roundhouse kick. You're gonna have to find your range, Brent. Uh, Victor asked. Chiptune Chronicles asks, which which Ryu is the pervert? Wow, got you Ooh. dizzy. Oh, 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 goodness gravy! I don't. Fire. Find the range. Very nice. Oh, you missed the fireball. I heard it. I heard you try to get that fireball off, but you just threw off a punch. Oh, Dickens. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You you grabbed him right out of midair. Wow. He can out of it. Uh, dragon punched right out of that. Oh, you cannot take another fireball. You cannot take one. Oh my God! You lost on time. No, no did draw it? game. Oh my Lord! That's oh, a draw, draw game. game. Wow. I don't know. Now fatigue might be setting in for you because this technically is the third round, and you've got to win two more. Right. That's good. 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 Oh, you got to watch him when he comes in. He's he's <laughs> coming in with that aerial attack. There it is. That's great. Fireball. I didn't get the. Butt. I just I'm my my thing is being slippery. Oh, here. you're. You... Oh, you it just kind of... fireball. I wasn't able oh. to. Um, I wasn't able to uh, pull off my moves because I was getting slippery over here. Okay, no, no. Brent, Brent is using a, a, a game pad, standard SNES game pad. Did you see that it said F round? It didn't say final round. It said F round. Right. You know why? Because Rob F switch. It's my round. Oh, good, good, good. Blitz it. You got to blitz that butt. Don't let him get off. Don't let him get off. He wants to get off so bad, but just not let him get off. Oh, God, he's getting off. He's getting off. Oh. He's getting off. Oh, I just punched him in the face. I punched him in the face. I just said, just lay off. I said, I said you're, trying to, you're trying to get off on me? Punch in the face. Look at those bats in the background, by the way. Bats. Oh. Hey, by the way, let me tell you about bats real quick. You know, Paul Mooney died recently, right? The, the, both you and I have both at separate times have uh, opened for Paul Mooney in our right. comedy careers, you know? Hold on. Let me just pause it before we talk. And so let me say this about that, Paul Mooney. I remember he had this one joke where he said he used to go like this. He used to say, uh, he said it was about bats. He goes, oh, I kind of ruined the punchline already. He goes like, okay, when you... When you look at a little, uh, how does it go? I forget. I can't remember how it goes actually. But you know, we both we both opened for him, and uh, you know, I think that was kind of a rite of passage for. Uh, ooh, he threw up just now. Do you see that? Oh, he must have had a big breakfast. Look at that. That was almost a perfect. Now look, uh, what's it called? Um, there's a lot going on here that I want to talk about. Look at the girl to the right in the bikini. What a bizarre face she has. It's kind of a trick, right? Okay, so you think, oh, these are some glamorous Las Vegas babes, right? And they're wearing their hats. Right. You can't really see their face. And right. then when they take the hat off, they're revealed to have these kind of grotesque faces. And it reminds me of the music video from Aphex Twin's Window Liquor. You know, do you ever have you ever seen that? Window Liquor? No. Well, you see these women in bikinis and they, you think, oh, maybe they're attractive. And then you see their faces and their faces are all weird. Well, they're, they're all this Aphex twins' face. And then they, and then, and then the main uh, girl has got this just grotesque face. And that's what this reminds me of is you're thinking, oh, look at these bikini babes. Okay. And then they take their hats off and then it's this kind of nightmarish happy face or something like that, you know? Okay. So this guy is supposed to be Mike Tyson, right? But how come he doesn't That's have right. any, how come he doesn't have any biting moves like uh, Blanca has, right? He's trying to make me smell his armpits there. Look at this. Oh, that said he's gonna knock you out with the smell. Oh, Snoop, he got me. Um, but look at these guys though watching, you know. I mean, and look at that. He's just really about kind of showing his armpits and stuff. Oh, that, but then the other guys throwing popcorn like you guys just got married. 
because right. it is Vegas after all. Right, right, right. And it, what? And it, plus, wow, he's look at really that armpit, cute. armpit, armpit. Right. He's got. He's really. He's been using Shore. You know Shore. Oh, he's 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 definitely raising it. Oh my gosh. Oh no, this is no projectile. Cannot waste the time with the projectile. Nope. Oh my good night, Shyamalan. Ah. And then here comes the rice. The well, you know what? I wanted to lose because I wanted to see that body. I wanted him that. I wanted to see that full <laughs> body pick right there. Okay, so this is the first loss of the evening. Yeah, that is, yeah. Still keep it American style here with, with Ryu from Japan. Uh, okay, remember, don't mess around with the projectiles. You're not going to have enough time to get them off. Well, look, I just got them. Look at that. There it is. I'm not even... I could... Sweeps are your friend. Sweeps are your friend. I know it. It's not like it's hard or anything, you know? It's not like it's even hard, you know? Now, we'll watch these women. Watch them reveal their hideous faces. Wow. Oh, my gosh. What's going on? It's a nightmare. Their faces are a nightmare underneath. It's it, Imagine you see a, a woman, right? And you think, oh, okay, she looks attractive, whatever. And then she shows her face, and it's a happy, like a yellow happy face or something like that, you know? You know, a smiling face. Right. It's, it's nothing but eyes. It almost reminds me of the, the prawn from the Muppets. It's just imagine a woman has a normal looking body and then she shows her face and it's a cartoon face. That's bizarre, right? That is the truly, that is just bizarre to me. I mean, it's a, a cartoon face on a human body. Mike Tyson right there. Uh oh, here we go again. Now, if I was more skilled, I would do Shryukens on every single one of these barrels, but I guess I won't be doing that to, ooh, that didn't work. Look at this, Splitsville. Yeah, I'm trying to do the Van Dam right here. Everybody do the Van Dam. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Now look at this, Cap 400, Capcom 400. What does the 400 mean? Wow, you were so close. Bang. Oh, that, that, that's, uh, that's 400 proof alcohol. Oh, okay, Spain. Now look. Now, look at the thing about Vega is he's a model. He's all tall and stuff. He's an elegant man. Right. Is he going to be able to get his patented uh, fence climb suit playoff? That's the question. Wow. wow. He's he's very Ooh. agile. Imagine. Okay, here we go. Oh. Uh, I tried to destroy Yukon out of it, but. Uh-oh. Wow. Two in a row? Wow. Now, imagine... This is kind of a nice date, I think, because, you know, you go to a movie, there's dancing and a fight with a model. <laughs> and watch a model fight. Look at this. Wow. You go you go dinner, dancing, and a fight with a model in a cage. Cage match. Ole, ole. That guy, the, the guy on the kind of i don't know he's wearing kind of red and brown that right. guy's he's doing sort of the spanish clapping the along spanish with the music. Clapping. right right he's doing it to the music he's not applauding the game he's one of the performers you know by the way brent i don't know if i ever told you i was um i was in a number of street fights when i was growing up is that so and one day i tried this exact move that vega did i jumped jumped on the fence is that true I, and I just started spider crawling on it. Oh, I broke his claw, by the way. Um, and you, you got on the fence, and what happened? Did you jump off and? No, you know, they just, they just, they just beat me up on the fence while I was <laughs> clinging, clinging to the fence. <laughs> did they break your mask or your claw like I did on? The fence? They did. They did. What kind of mask were you wearing? It was, a surgery, it was a surgical mask. It was, it was, it was a COVID nineteen mask because it would happen. It happened a couple weeks ago or something. Now this guy's oh, a tall man. drink of water. This is a tall drink of water right here. Now, First of all, I did, go ahead. No, I just was gonna say this is my favorite. This was always my favorite 
track in the game. My favorite level to, if I was doing a versus mode with somebody, I always pick this every time to play in because I, it's kind of got that smooth jazz kind of sound to it a little bit, you know? Look at those Christmas trees in the background. Oh, this Christmas tree, those that look like oh, Christmas I know. trees. Oh, no, no, no. Those are the tower, other the, 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 the sculptures or the... The pagodas? I forget what they're called. They look like Christmas trees, though. I thought it was Christmas. Pagoda. They're pagodas, temples, pagodas. Right, 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 right. But this is, is that a Buddhist? No, no, I mean, that's a sort of, it seems to be a Hindu statue, no? Because there's a... It's a good question. There's a bindi, good there's a bindi on the, there's a bindi there. It must be some sort of, a, well, this is, it's some sort of a south, oh, I'm kind of, I'm... He's got your number on that helicopter. You better watch out. Uh oh, I kind of let that one go. I, it kind of almost looks like her arm goes down and becomes, you know, a cloth. But even though her arm's up or up on the side, though. Right, right. No, this is good. This is good. Keep your range. Keep your range. Let him come for you. Okay. Ooh, he's got those long legs. He's so long and tall. Ooh, my gosh, he's just getting me back for that scar I put on his chair. That's basic. That's basically a, a, your name tattooed Whoa. on his chest. It is. It is. I always at first I thought it was a lightning ball at first. Now I wanted to die because I wanted to see him laugh like that because I love seeing his body move up and up and down like that when he laughs. You see that twinkle on my eye? I did. You little fat cheeks. I, uh, yeah, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mike, Mike 50 wanted me to hear. I lost on purpose so we could hear this track again because this is the ultimate track. It's all smooth jazz and stuff. Oops. I did it at the wrong time. Watch, watch the range. Watch the range. Okay, this is good. This is good. I like this stretch. There it is. You see, one of them's going to land. Very nice. Oh my god. You're just you're just Ooh, you're, I, you're uh -oh. grabbing him and kicking him. Man, martial arts master. Look at that. She's how did how is she gonna sleep through all this? You know what I mean? <laughs> She's just sleeping through this whole exciting fight with these daddy long legs right here. I called I called Saget I call um Sagat Daddy Long Legs. Da or I call him Danny Tanner. I call him Bob Sagat. You got to watch out that that aerial attack. He's going to see you coming every time. Right, I hear that. When you come, he's going to see you. Okay, okay. Do not do not even mess with the helicopter. You should throw him. Got to got to throw him on that one. There it is. There it is. Ah. Oh. There it is. That's good. That's good. Yes. Ooh, that was a close. That was a bit of a close one, actually. But look at this. Is that's that is Tanny Danner right there? If I ever saw. That's a callback. Cammy's making a callback right there to the last episode. Okay, here we go. M. Bison, Mike Tyson himself. Mike Tyson yes. himself, the king of Thailand. Mike Tyson, A.K.A. Raul Julia. A.K.A. I don't know. A.K.A. Gomez from the Adams family or whatever his name is. Okay, this is good. This is good. He's gone. He's gone. He was gone. I threw that. I threw the trash. I took the trash out just now. <laughs> you no, know, we don't even get to hear the good part of the track when you hear the bell ringing when they're hitting that that big bell. Doom. All right. Well, you can hear it in the beginning, but then there's a part where they just start chiming it over and over again. Yeah, it sounds real nice. Look at that woman meditating there. She's saying, oh, this is so peaceful. The sound of bones breaking. Right, right exactly. Men being thrown about. Oh, God, he's doing me. Oh, harder. wow, wow. Oh, can you come back? If you came back, this would be legendary. It would be epic. Oh, that would have been epic. That would have been epic games. Hey, look at those uh, crucifixes in the background, like kind of beyond the pagodas. Oh, yeah, I see them. Uh, or you know the crosses, yeah. so it is a Christ. It's not. It's more. It's more Western than you think, isn't it? Dang, he is straight booting you to the face. 
This is good. This is good. Oh, Roundhouse Party. He's got it. He's, he's, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He was gone. <laughs> he's gone. He's out of here. He's out of right. here. And now, chat, here comes the prize. I'm sure there's probably people here that have never seen this. Well, I too bad I didn't do this on one credit, though. I did it on three credits, I guess. Oh, look at this. The award summary is like, where is he? Well, okay, where is he to accept his award? He got first place. Hmm. Hmm. He says, That's you know what? I don't need that. I'm going to walk off into the sunset. sunset. And that's why I played Sunset Riders, you see? Because Ryu is a true Sunset Rider. There you go. This song is a, is a banger. Oh, he did show up to the. He showed up to it anyway, I guess. Huh? He said, "Psych, give me my trophy, losers." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's like, I don't care. I'm, I don't care. It's not about the contest. I just did it for myself. Uh, I'm just kidding. I would like that trophy. I could probably get some money for that, actually. He did come back. Look at how That's upset funny. they are now. They're looking that at him, going, "You're a phony." I don't even yeah, exactly. He's looking at him thinking, I thought you were all just about the fight and you did like what do you why you they're look at them crossing their arms, they're kind of looking at him just they're very being very judgmental of him right now, rightfully so. Rightfully so, you know. Oh, that's great. Oh, Maynard. Well, should we do one more or should we just call it here, you know? What do you think, chat? That was good. That was good. It was nice to see your 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 techniques i wasn't playing that well i wasn't playing that well because i i was i was you know talking and stuff at the same time you know what maybe he was walking into maybe he was walking into the sunset to the to the turn back to the <laughs> or to the awards maybe the award ceremony was at a different location than the fight you know so it was basically the fight took place at night it was and that was in you know somewhere else right and then then that wasn't a sunset. It was a sunrise. He was walking off into the sunrise. Maybe he's a sunrise rider. Or he was trying to walk away, and then he just happened to walk past the ceremony. And he said, I'm, I'm trying to leave, but since I'm here, might as well. Just don't want to let a good ceremony go to waste, even though this means nothing to me. 